What's going on guys? Welcome back to Learn Crypto and today's Oatmeal Update. My name is Nick Hellman, aka the Crypto Hitman. And if you like daily live shows talking about crypto and stock fundamental analysis, technical analysis and news, follow me, like us, or join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. A dollar a day can keep the bankers away. Let's start off by just taking a quick look at Bitcoin, see what's going on here. Bitcoin. So a little bit of a rally yesterday on the positive earnings from NVIDIA and the stock market doing decently well. It is giving up all those gains once again. This could have been a bull trap. Now, as you can see what we have marked here, all of our previous trades, and this potential ABC down for Bitcoin, which would lead to a new move to 35000 We've been talking about this for a while. But how does this play out? You know, I drew this meanderer weeks ago on the chart whenever this fell. You know, this was, I don't know, seven days ago now. And so far, it's been dead on. So what could happen here? I think there's a high probability of stocks continuing to go lower and this to retest the lows. It would almost be nice if we came down here to this 24,000 or 24,500 level. Why? Because I'd probably set up a bullish divergence. You see how oversold we got here? This goes to a minor new low. RSI probably sits somewhere around 30 to 30 to 31 up here. Still oversold on the RSI, but you do create that bullish divergence. That puts in a C wave and Elliott wave, and that creates the next major rally in the markets for Bitcoin. We'll see how that plays out. Now, why are we talking about NVIDIA? NVIDIA had earnings. It gapped higher. Institutions drove this thing to like $515. Right now, it is selling off. This is pulling down stocks. This is pulling down Bitcoin. And if you want to know more of my technical analysis on NVIDIA, check out my news feed on Twitter or even the video on YouTube. It's flashing a lot of bearish signals, uh, which could be detrimental to the outlook on this price, but also the outlook on stock market in general and Bitcoin in the AI sector, because this is one of the largest companies in the in the indices now. This had Nvidia has a larger market capitalization than the entire crypto ecosystem. Let me say that again. Nvidia has the largest market capitalization, larger market capitalization than the entire crypto ecosystem at over one trillion valuation. It will impact markets. It will impact financial stability and it will impact investors' thesis for market direction in general. Talk about a couple tweets here that I thought were important. This one got a lot of news. Richard Hart went on a tweet storm yesterday. A lot of legal tweets kind of putting his foot down against the SEC. This is my rationale on what is going to happen for Pulse Chain, Pulse X, Hex, and that entire Richard Hart ecosystem. Richard Hart is going to ratio the SEC, meaning. He's going to make him look silly. He's going to win the SEC case, and he's already trying to make him look silly with this tweet storm. This is just one of a dozen tweets he had yesterday. When Richard Hart ratios SEC or wins against SEC, Hex is going to instantly 3X. Instantly 3X. I still prefer P-Hex over E-Hex. That is because I believe that more DeFi value, lower transaction fees, and a larger community base will be on Pulse Chain. And P-Hex will become native Hex, while E-Hex just kind of floats around there and kind of floats away into obscurity or constantly lags compared to P-Hex. Once Hex instantly 3Xs, PLS and PLSX will quickly catch up and outperform Hex. Yes, I believe they will outperform Hex because those are the new darlings, the new opportunities, and a lot of weak hands have already sold, meaning there is less selling pressure above. Also remember that the all the token supply for PLS and PLSX is already in circulation, and they both have a burn function bu built in. A buyback and burn of those tokens, plus new users, plus positive news, means price goes higher. Now for INC, that is the reward token in the ecosystem, it will be a lagger until it isn't. I think it will lag Hex, PLS, and PLSX, but there's rumor of it being used for DAO or governance, which would send it soaring. Now why would you need INC utility? The farm APRs are based on the INC price. The higher the INC price in comparison to PLS and PLXX and HEX, the higher the APRs, which obviously people want. This will garnish new DeFi users. So I think Richard Hard or the DAO or whatever is going to implement more INC utility. That is going to send the price higher. This then makes the farm APRs moon because of the INC utility and the INC price. When that happens, people want to chase that yield, so people dump more money into PLS, PLSX, chasing that yield, rinse and repeat in the entire ecosystem based on the bonding curve and the liquidity provision. You know, what do they call it? The Hart Law, Hart Law where everything is linked together with liquidity. The prices 
go higher, higher, and higher. Then we top on a Bitcoin bull market and we see some real good price action for that ecosystem. I do not think it's dead by any means. Richard Hart can't really talk with SEC stuff, but once that's over, I think you're going to have massive gains. Somebody asked me, what, what do you project for the bull market? It's hard to do because we don't know how long the SEC thing is going to do. We don't know what Bitcoin price is going to do. And we'll have to see what kind of utilities and user growth we have over Pulse Chain. But I think conservatively in the next bull run, PLS will have a 10x, not from current price, but from the all-time high price that occurred not too long ago. And PLSX will have a 25x, not from current price, but from the all-time high price it already put in after launch. Those are big gains from here. Top that up with high APR returns with INC getting utility and going up in price. And I think Pulse Chain is an ecosystem you want to keep an eye on. I watched this last night. I don't know, not not from a political perspective, but I think the, the moral of the story is the information and the questions and the access you get from social platforms versus mainstream media is vitally important to getting the truth and weeding out conspiracy theories and everything else within modern society. This X platform is proving so. Releasing things like Tucker Carlson with Trump. I mean, it, it's insane. Tucker Carlson also did one with Andrew Tate. Um, and the information and the questions he's allowed to ask is eye-opening. It makes you think, and it gives you a much better perspective on the state of this country, the state of the world, and the state of information that you can process, digest, and make your own informative decisions. And the reach is massive. It already has 190.4 million views in 12 hours. Crushing MSNBC, crushing Fox, crushing CNN, crushing all these other news outlets. And, uh, you know, freedom of speech is proving to be victorious here over on the X platform. I wrote, what are your favorite AI stocks and cryptos with a little video? Why is that? We're going to talk about that in the oatmeal update. We saw NVIDIA. We saw NVIDIA really hammering out great revenues based on the theory of AI coming to the masses. We saw their data revenue going from like 300 to 1200 in one quarter just based on if companies want to tap into AI's power, you need computing power. And whether that's from data solutions that NVIDIA offers, whether that's from GPU solutions that NVIDIA offers, or whether that's from CPU components that NVIDIA, AMD, Intel offers, I think there's going to be a big AI sector push over the next year, two years, and we need to be on the lookout for AI stocks that are under the radar, as well as AI cryptos that are under the radar. When a sector is doing well, a bullish sector, you can have the same chart in a neutral or bearish sector as a bullish sector. You know, your measured moves are about the same. But the bullish sector, which in this case I believe is AI, is going to outperform the other stock, the other comparable chart, by 60 to 70% according to research. Ride the sector waves, get ahead of the curve, and help me. Let me know what, what you think are some good AI stocks, AI cryptos we need to do research on. Obviously, I think the you know 90% of people are bullish on NVIDIA, so we got to fade that. Once that resets, it's going to drag the entire sector down. And now we can look for some darlings, some undervalued plays, even an AMD, for example, to get involved with. And I think the AI push, the AI initiative, and the AI cycle will occur, just like we saw Metaverse occur at the end of the bull, bull run for crypto's last cycle. Um, right now we are up about 3.4% on our Coinbase re-entry over at patreon.com slash learn crypto. We are still in cash for MicroStrategy. We are still in cash for Riot. We are still in cash for Penn. We sold out our Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB, and Solana before this crash. So if you guys want live trades, ideas, live updates, t uh, questions and answers with myself and Todd Butterfield, join us at patreon.com slash learn crypto. A dollar a day can keep the bakers away. We are here to help you on your financial journey. We don't win every time. We win more than we lose. We've been in this space for multiple cycles. We're not going anywhere. We're not going to show you random links. We're not going to dump on your head. And we're going to be uh, trading in both large caps, mid caps, and small caps, a nice, well-rounded portfolio to try to find success both in the bear market as well as the bull market. That is today's oatmeal update. Let me know the next topics we need to cover. And stay tuned for more live shows, more content today. I'll see you all later.